Well, I'm back. Uh, now we have done this. Not so good. There is one point, I mentioned the strad point here. And, uh, well, <laughs> you end up in a, uh, in a situation where you have to decide are you going to follow his lead or are you going to follow the sound lead? And um, actually, I'm uh, I'm uh, abandoning him, him, so I take away here. He was a great guy, and um, uh, uh, perhaps he had um, a reason to say that, but uh, I'll do it. There is one more point that has changed uh, cutting the F-holes, and that is on the inner edge of the F-hole. Uh, it goes up. I can show you. So uh, we take away here too. I hope you notice how little I take away and how much that changes the scratch tone. It's really sensitive, which means you have to be very careful. This is uh, definitely not a place where you take your plane and start adjusting. This is just a scraper. Yeah, good for now. Uh, we turn it around and uh, we remember that uh, we had the first point uh, uh, corrected was here. And uh, I told you that uh, when we remove material up and down, this will rise because uh, it will be uh, a higher point. It has risen even more when we cut the F-holes, if we listen. So this is going up. We can tap. Uh, 
and we hear it's higher when we tap from the outside which means the inside has to be taken away material now we have this um, point here where the sound post is supposed to be I get my thickness caliper and uh, we measure where that is it's about three and I don't want that to go any lower because um, it can uh, when you put the sound post in and uh, uh, the f powers uh, do its work then you can have a bulge on the outside and uh, uh, so I leave this a little bit higher or thicker than it may ask for. I put some pencil marks so I don't forget this is forbidden area to take away. <coughs> but um, at this stage we are at uh, three in the middle but uh, we just noticed that it's too much so we take away until we reach the same pitch here still too high now we're fine for the moment uh, so we do it all over again tune the uh, the whole area and uh, we go I learned from a friend in Cremona, Gaspar Borchardt, that uh, he had found that uh, there is a scoop on the inside of the upper wing here uh, that uh, is left a little bit higher at the edges. I haven't so far come... Uh, <laughs> it hasn't... Uh, gotten an explanation in my head but uh, I copy here like I said that I'm reluctant to do but um, instead of uh, going flat on this uh, tongue here I scoop it a little bit on the inside When you go in the area where the base bar is supposed to come, I wouldn't recommend doing a lot of uh, small strokes, but try to go with long strokes because that will uh, take away a lot of these uh, mini bumps that makes a base bar setting so difficult. 
so we uh, we try to go in the direction where the base bar comes and do our work And every now and then we check with the outside so we are not drifting away into uh, just uh, comparing with the spots around because uh, that can make us go too low and uh, well too low is not good as you understand um, so we we're fine over here now And of course, you can check with the caliper if you're uh, totally out of sync with the. Uh, uh, I mean, if you go down below one millimeter, then well, it's not. Uh, it's probably you missed out on the pitch. Also, when you are at 3.5 or something in some spot. Uh, that uh, spot needs <laughs> checking if it's not too high but you can always uh, if you're careful with the outer arching and have everything set you can go uh, on the outside and check with the inside Well, um, now I am going to um, do the same thing uh, for the whole surface and uh, to avoid slow TV I uh, come back when I have something more to say.